The Pakistani teenager shot in the head by the Taliban after demanding better education for girls has been flown to the UK for treatment. 14-year-old Malala Yousafzai is being cared for at the new Queen Elizabeth Hospital in Birmingham, which specialises in military casualties. Doctors there say she's likely to be in hospital for months. Our international editor, Lindsay Hilson, reports. The ambulance drove slowly from Birmingham airport. Inside, Malala Yousafzai was still sedated, as she has been since the Taliban bullet penetrated her skull. Doctors from the Queen Elizabeth's Hospital, who were already in Pakistan, have been attending to her. They believe she has a reasonable chance of recovery in the unit which has treated thousands of soldiers injured in Iraq and Afghanistan. There was a huge range of specialties that we have in, in, on this site. Pretty much everything you, you could envisage needing after any injury. And of course, because we are the receiving hospital for all the British battle casualties and have been for the last 10 years, we do unfortunately have very extensive experience of dealing with this sort of traumatic bullet-related injury. Malala left the military hospital in Royal Pindi this morning, flying to the UK via Dubai. She is an inspirational example to young people. It was a cowardly attack on her and her school friends, uh, trying to uh, retaliate for her own campaign for good access to education for girls in Pakistan. Yesterday in Karachi, thousands demonstrated against the shooting and for Malala's cause, girls' education. The crowds organized by one of Pakistan's political parties, the MQM. But despite claims that the attack has united Pakistanis, the Islamist parties, who frequently stage protests against America, have not come out onto the streets to support the teenager. They're sympathetic to the Pakistani Taliban, which controlled Malala's home area, the Swat Valley, for nearly two years with the agreement of the government and army. They implemented cruel Sharia punishments and destroyed girls' schools. Back in 2009, we filmed Malala's father, who was trying to keep open the school he ran. We have to establish a role model society in Swat. All the unemployed people should be given employment. All the uneducated people should be given education. In May 2009, the army drove the Taliban out and families who'd been forced to flee returned. Girls crowded into their ruined schools, desperate to continue their education. Malala was only 11 when she began her anti-Taliban campaign. Her shooting last week proves that the Pakistani authorities have failed to defeat the militants in SWAT fully, maybe because some Pakistani politicians and military men not so secretly support the Islamists. In Karachi, they've named a school after Malala, a generation of girls who will never get an education if the Taliban prevail. Some have called this a tipping point. The fate of Malala Yousafzai has come to symbolize the choice Pakistan faces. It can let the extremists have their way or reject them and everything they stand for. Lindsay Hilson reporting. Well, we're joined now by our Midlands reporter, Fasma Manji, who's outside the Queen Elizabeth Hospital in Birmingham. What's the latest news there? Well, tonight, Chris, there's quite a hive of activity continuing around the Queen Elizabeth Hospital. Quite a few police officers outside the building. Um, and security is something they're taking very seriously around Malala. For obvious reasons, we don't even know exactly what the security detail around her is. Earlier on, I saw that convoy of the ambulance arriving with the police on bikes, um, travelling very slowly um, with her. Now, as to Malala's condition, we know that she continues to be in this medically induced coma. She is sedated. The first thing they will be doing at the hospital tonight, and probably are doing now, is assessing her condition. Now, we know that bullets had been removed while she was in Pakistan, but they need to work out exactly what damage it's done, and that's what they'll be doing first. And according to that, we'll then assemble a specialist medical team to give her that help she needs. And bullet wounds is obviously something that they're very familiar with uh, treating here in, at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital in Birmingham. Is her family with her? Well, the hospital wouldn't confirm that. We do understand from other sources that the family is not here yet, but is due to join her. Um, 
there are other people around here in Birmingham, though. There are, Birmingham has a significant um, number of uh, population of people of Pakistani origin, some of whom have come here tonight um, to wish her well. I spoke to one of them earlier, and he said tonight uh, a lot of people in Birmingham will be very much praying for her and showing her support. So Malala's family may not yet be with her, but she is surrounded by a specialist medical team, and she is with a lot of well-wishers. Fatima Manji.